Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can do this effect. Basically just adding lines to the screen. They just make the shot more dynamic and kind of add uh, more speed to it. Just feels like there's more action going on, even if it's just a still image, something about it. So I'm going to show you how you can make this in After Effects and you can use it on your montages. Here are some examples of me using the effect. Now let's dive into After Effects, make this effect, save it as a file, and we can reuse it on any of our projects. So let's just go hop in the computer right now. All right, now we are in my computer and I'm wearing a different hoodie. Don't worry about that. <laughs> um, we're gonna go Composition New. I want 1080p, 60 FPS. So let's make it about 10 seconds long. Go OK. Here's our composition here. 10 seconds will be long enough. So now that I have this here, let's go Layer New Solid. Doesn't matter what color, we'll just go okay. So that's the whole thing there. We're gonna add a mask in the middle. So something about right there. You can click this little icon here and choose title safe if you really wanna line it up better with the middle. So click off the mask, click one of the lines, hold shift, and you can keep it nice and straight. So I'm gonna have it go a little bit more like this. And this mask is gonna be for removing the lines. So I want the middle area not to have the lines. So now clicking on the black solid, I'm gonna grab the effect Fractal Noise and place that on. Now with my mask down here, I'm gonna change Add to Subtract. And let's bring down the mask tools and go to Feathering and let's try 200. So we might need more actually. Let's go up to 300 around there. And I can see the mask is a little bit too much. So I'm gonna make my mask come down a little further here or make it a little wider anyways. So now over in Fractal Noise, I'm gonna keep these effects the same, like the type and the type the same. Contrast, let's bring it up to 2400. Let's get really contrasty. And then brightness, we're gonna change to 300. On transform, we're gonna drop that down here, unclick uniform scaling. At the width, let's go 4000. At the height, let's go 20. So you can see, it kinda looks like some lines there. It's not moving though. I'm gonna turn this off. And I still think it's a little too much, so I'm gonna grab my mask again. I'm gonna separate this out, grab my mask, and I'm gonna make it a little wider up there. And I'm actually gonna make the height a little bigger, so let's go like uh, 40, a little thicker lines. And now once that's good, I'm gonna go my offset, I'm gonna click a keyframe at the beginning, go to the end, and grab this, and just hold shift and go like really far. So I'm holding shift to make it go further that way. And this will change the speed. And you can play here, see how fast it goes. It's a little too slow. I kind of want it to be like crazy lines going across the screen. So I can go back to the next keyframe, make it even faster. Okay, I'm happy with it here. Of course, if I toggle the transparency, you can see the center is transparent. You can see some of it is transparent there and the lines are moving across. And right, as a test, I have one of my montages here. I'm just gonna add anime lines to this this section just for fun, just to see how it works, all right? So I'm gonna grab my comp two, place it over top of here. You'll see that you still see the white, even though the center is transparent, though the white's still showing here. So all you do is go down normal to multiply right there. And they're pretty dark. So sometimes I don't even use the lines exactly like that, but you can see there, anime lines are already there. And you could play with uh, scaling and rotating if I wanted it to be the other way. I would just rotate it like this, and you could even ununiformly scale it like that. It still has anime lines going around the side. But let me undo those. But if the anime lines are too dark, I actually just use it usually at like 50% transparency or something like that. Have them on the screen just lightly. You don't want them too overpowering. So we just confirmed it works. So now let's go back to our comp and what we're gonna do is export it. So I'm gonna go composition, add to render queue. Now we wanna make sure we get the transparency here and I wanna keep it at a decent quality. So I'm gonna bring down a format to QuickTime. So I clicked on lossless at the bottom one up format quick time channels it changes to rgb plus alpha and turn off audio there's no audio and you could open this here and just call it anime lines save export render so now you're rendering it here and you can bring this file into any of your projects just make sure you put multiply on it and boom you have anime lines or uh, speed line, some people might say. All right, so simple and easy, and you can apply it to anything just to kind of make it more dynamic and uh, fast paced. So it kind of adds to the motion and making the shot more exciting. So hopefully it's been helpful and have a good one. Have a good one.